Please watch the video in high quality. This video shows how to scale plane to fit the screen size using C Sharp and orthographic camera. And I will put a link in the description to another tutorial that does the same with a perspective camera. To start, I'll create a plane, right click a 3D object and then plane. And then I'll go to the main camera. It's perspective by default, so I'll just change that to orthographic. And to make the camera look down in the top view on the plane, I'll just change the uh, rotation on the X to be 90 and the Z to be zero position and the Y to be 20 so that we are looking down at the plane. Then I'll create script. I'll create a script folder under the assets, create folder, we'll call it scripts. And then inside that folder, I'll create a script or C sharp file and we'll name it scale plane. Once that script is created, I'll drag it into the plane game object. And I'll select the plane to ensure that the script is in, in and then double click on the script to open it in Visual Studio. Inside the script, I have a vector2 variable called screen resolution to hold the value of the screen resolution. And then we'll set at the start, we'll set its value to be uh, the to take the screen width and height uh, values. And then we'll call the match plane to screen uh, method or function, which is over here. What it does first is get the plane height scale by uh, it's double the uh, camera orthographic size. And we divide that by 10 because by default, the plane scale one scale one is 10 units in the X and Z uh, directions. And then we'll get the plane width scale, which is uh, the plane height uh, multiplied by the camera uh, aspect ratio, which is the width of the uh, uh, the, the, the width of the screen or, uh, divided by the height, and then we uh, the game object, which is the plane, we up, uh, modify its local scale to be it's a new vector three, and the plane width the scale uh, one on the y because we don't need to change that, and the blind the plane height scale for the z. And on the update, we'll check whenever the screen resolution changes. In other words, if the the stretch or the width and, and height of the uh, screen change, we call the function again, the match plane to screen function, and we assign the new values or update the values for the screen resolution on both the X and Y. Uh, so if we save this script and go back to the editor, if I hit the play, you will notice that the uh, the plane is taking the aspect ratio or the size of the screen. Thank you. Please like, subscribe and click the notifications button to help me make more videos like this.